reasons. And one of my favorite uh, coaches of all time that's on the speaking circuit is a guy named Don Shula. Are there any, any Miami Dolphin fans in the audience? A couple? All right. One? All right. <laughs> anyway, when Coach Shula was the coach of the Miami Dolphins in the 70s, he, as you know, they had this undefeated season. I mean, unbelievable record. And he couldn't go anywhere in Miami without people going up to him. Want to take his picture, want to talk about Sunday's football game, want to take a, you know, his autograph. And he was a relatively kind of shy guy and a, and a quiet guy. He didn't really like all the fanfare. So he convinced his wife that during the offseason, they're going to rent this little log cabin upstate New Hampshire just to get away from all the fans in Miami. So they rented this house for the summer, and Shula joins his wife up there. And the first week they were there, they discovered this old fashioned movie theater. You know those old-fashioned movie theaters at one screen, the old-fashioned popcorn machine? So Shula bought their tickets and bought their popcorn. They walk in this movie theater. There's a handful of people there. And as soon as these people noticed and saw Don Shula walk in the movie theater, everyone stood up and started clapping and gave me a stand ovation. And his head gets really big, and he leans over to his wife as he's finding his seat and says, I can't even go in the middle of New Hampshire without people recognizing me. And his wife says, Don, calm down and watch the movie. And so they watched this movie. It was a very moving movie, very compelling movie. So when Shula was walking out of the theater, he starts talking to some of the locals about how wonderful this movie is. And he realizes that these people have absolutely no idea who he is. So he goes up to kind of the older guy that was sitting next to him in the theater and says, Sir, do you know who I am? And the old guy looks at Shula and says, No, sir, I have absolutely no idea who you are. And Shula says, Well, why would you give my wife and I a stand ovation when we walked in the movie theater? The old guy looks at Shula and says, you must not be from around here, are you, sir? And Shula says, no. The old guy looks at Shula and says, well, sir, there was only eight people in the movie theater. They only actually start the movie to the 10th person shows up. So I was very excited when he walked in. <laughs> I love that story. And every single keynote I give, whether it's to 711 U.S. Bank people or, 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 or small audiences, I share that story. I open that keynote with this story because to me, great leadership, great heart-led leadership is all about humility.